Hi everyone, welcome back to Job One for All. The design pattern we are going to talk about in this video is called single tone. So single tone is a design pattern created when we have to make sure that we have only one object, one instance of that object available across your entire project. So basically there are some cases where you do not want like classes creating objects and having different types of objects, especially for example, when you are dealing with uh, database connections or for example, you, you want the, the data for that specific object to be always the same across your entire project. So let's see how that works. Uh, there are several ways to, to do that. Uh, let's do the first way. That's kind of the eager initialization. But let's start with the problem. Imagine that we have here a class called aircraft. So the class aircraft will uh, have uh, two attributes. One, private final. Let's call this available seat. Will be a set of strings. As you know, aircrafts, usually uh, commercial aircrafts, they don't have the same number of seats. Uh, each one of the seats, uh, they have different name. One A, one B, one C, and so on. So here we have available seats. And then I will create a new hash set. And I'll use another object here just to final string name. I will create a constructor with that name. And uh, I will use the static block. Oh, sorry, not the initialization block, not static. And available seats dot add 1a, 1b. Okay, so our aircraft has only two seats. And we are going to create here a public boolean book seat. Okay, as you know, if two people, they decided to take the seat 1A, one of them should get the book seat false because you don't have 1A uh, twice. So let's create here Java class aircraft aircraft test 01. Yes, VM. So let's create here a static void book seat. Basically, it's going to do the same thing, but here, this book seat, we are going to ask for a seat and we are going to create uh, the object. So for example, we have aircraft, aircraft, new aircraft. Uh, we can say, hey, this is a 787-900. And here we are going to call aircraft book seat for this seat. So there is technically nothing wrong with our code, but we are talking about one aircraft. The aircraft that is the 787-900. Of course, you could have several 787, but in this case, imagine that we only have one. Now, if I come here and I say, hey, uh, I would like to book a seat, 1A, and then comes another guy, hey, I would like to also book a seat, 1A. And when you execute this code, you are going to get true, true, if you actually print the book seat here. Why are you going to get true, true? Because remember, we have different objects. So in our case here, if you print the memory address, you will see that they have two completely different objects. This means that this object has one A and one B, and this object has one A and one B. But we only have technically one aircraft. We cannot have like two objects of that aircraft. Now, how can we solve this problem? Basically, we have to provide for whoever is calling this uh, aircraft class an instance uh, of the, this class that will be the same across all the calls. So this is where it comes the eager way of doing. It. So I'm going to create here aircraft singleton eager. That's going to be exactly the same thing with uh, some differences. So first, uh, the name of the constructor. And second, we cannot let people create an instance of this object. So, 
private aircraft singleton eager. Why not? Because if we let people create objects, of course, we are going to have the same problem. So we are forbidding people to create the object of this class. I mean, right, final here to make sure that nobody will actually extend this class. And then we come here and we have to provide an instance because if we don't provide an instance, nobody will be able to ever use this uh, aircraft singleton eager. So we do this. We create object, a reference variable that's exactly this, and we call it instance. And then we just call here new aircraft singleton eager, and we can pass 787 900. So now it doesn't matter who calls the, the instance, we are always going to retrieve the same object. And why this is called eager initialization. So why is this called eager initialization? Because remember, this is static, uh, well, no, it is. It is a static attribute. It means that by the time the, the class loader pass by this, we will have an instance available to be used. Now let's uh, see how it works. Let's copy the aircraft test and let's rename it to aircraft singleton eager test zero one. What's going to change here? Instead of creating aircraft, I will just use the aircraft singleton eager. You see that now, if I try to use new, we are going to get this exception. Why? Because uh, the constructor is private. How do we get an instance of this seven eight seven nine hundred? the instance method. Now we have the instance method here private uh, so we can provide a getter for example out insert getter instance and then we call here uh, aircraft single to eager dot get instance. I bet you saw this get instance before I think it was when we were talking about the date format uh, and then you have the get date instance get date time instance. But in this case, I think they are not a uh, single tone. I'm not sure if they are going to retrieve the same object or if it's just like uh, a factory pattern. Hmm. Yeah, I have to double check that. I'm not sure. Okay, so in our case, we are talking about single tone. So this is single tone. It doesn't matter who calls the get instance, they will always get the same instance control shift f10 now you can see that we have true and false and take a look at this the objects are exactly the same so now uh, if i come here to my aircraft test and i will do the same so instead of calling this aircraft here i would just duplicate i will comment this code out and then i will do the same aircraft singleton test dot sorry aircraft singleton eager dot get instance and here now I am in a completely different class and I will from my aircraft single to eager test I will do the same I will instead of calling only this book seat I will call now the aircraft test zero one dot book seat and I will pass here one a and one a control shift f10 as you can see, only one is true and everything else is false. Why? Because we are working with the same object. So this is one way uh, that you will, will have to have exactly the same instance across your entire system. And this is called the eager initialization. So in the next video, let's talk about the lazy initialization. So see you in the next video. Bye.